Weaver got him! For you, what is it that keeps you coming back to this game every time you're going through that therapy, every time you're going through that rehab? What's sticking in your brain that says, I'm going to overcome this because I want to play football? Uh, I think it just starts with, like, to me, you know, I'm an is what it is type of person. Everybody gets hurt. It's part of the game. Some injuries are a couple weeks. Some happen to be the whole season. Football is what I do. It's part of me. I love it. And, like, when I'm not doing that, I just feel like I'm missing a part of me. So until I so I can't do it anymore because I'm too old. I plan on doing it. Coaches talk a lot, not only about your physicality and your skill set, but about the mental aspect of the game and how you really seem to be a cerebral player. Where does that come from? School was always pretty easy for me. Learning was good. I always had a good memory, stuff like that. And then once you get older, you realize just knowing the plays and knowing what to do allows you to play at the next level and just the next speed and be better than what you are at that current time if you don't know the plays like the back of your hand. Your coaches from college mainly have said you have a lot of grit and you are exceedingly positive. Those two things seem like they go hand in hand. Yeah. Um, how has that, being part of your personality, the fiber of your being, how does that make you a better football player? You know, a lot of my coaches have told me, and I've always been like that younger, but especially in college, when my coaches told me, you just get it, you get out what you put in. So, you know, if you can't grind through the, the hard days of practice or um, something's hurting or you're out there in tough situations, you just, you just, the game's not going to give you back what you give it. You know, you got you to gotta show love to the game and give it a lot for it to show you love back and be successful. And so that was something I just really leaned on in college a lot, but it, it's always just been a part of me. Jones in the gun. Jones dropping, feeling heat, in trouble. Set! Rashad Weaver! I want to talk about you and Bud Dupree, because you guys have gotten the opportunity to work out together. You knew each other before you were at the Titans, correct? We knew of each other, obviously. I knew him as one of the best pass rushers in the NFL on the Steelers, see him throughout the same building. And he knew me as, you know, one of the starting DNs for the college that shares a facility with him, all of, you know, good player in college and all of that. So, you know, we connected from there and followed each other on social media. We'll talk here and there. But once we got here, that's when it really, you know, turned him more into a, a true friendship and building that relationship, not just at the facility, but outside of the facility and someone, you know, that I was around a lot and could lean on while being hurt, kept me company uh, when he wasn't at the facility, uh, would invite me over to be around him, stuff like that. So he was someone that definitely took me under the wing and it was good. You know, you want to look at guys that make lots of plays in this league and set themselves up to provide for their family and help their teams win and stuff like that. So that was something, even if he doesn't know, I, I watch uh, what he does, his routines, what he uh, eats, takes care of his body, things like that, and just how he operates throughout in the building, because that's everybody's end goal. Being able to learn from someone like that, how do you feel like you have set yourself up better for year two, but your first full season of football here? You know, having a schedule, that's something they always harp on, but still, once you get to this level, there's different things. You add to that schedule now, and you adjust and change, and it's just taking little things that you see, and I'm um, asking them how they study. You know, I've always studied in no plays, but there's different ways you can continue to learn, learn how to study, and help you learn the plays, because that was, again, just my biggest goal was to be able to know these plays coming back like the back of my hand, so then I could go out there and actually play. Picking parts of from each other, you know, we're different type of rushers, you know, ability, skill set, every player is, and you know, asking him what he thinks I could use from his game, and even as a young player, you see me do something, you know, he'll be like, that's something I, I could see myself doing that, and I think it just works together.